One question I'm commonly asked um, is how to join one object to another in AutoCAD. Now this tutorial is going to cover two uh, commands, both of which live on the modify flyout. So before we do anything else, what we're going to do is expand the modify flyout and just pin it in place uh, so that we can see the two commands that we're going to be looking at. The first one we're going to look at is this one here, it's called join and it allows us to join similar objects so a line to a line, a polyline to a polyline and so on. We're then going to move on to look at the edit polyline tool which is a little bit more complicated um, but is much more flexible. Okay so here's the first problem we have two lines here, one red and one black so you can see the, that they are actually separate lines and what we want to do is to make one single line out of the two of them. We use the join command to do that and it's pretty straightforward. We click on join and we select the source object. Now here one object is red and one object is black. The resulting single object will inherit the properties of the first or source object that we select. Now I'm going to select the red line to begin with. The prompt then says select the lines to join to the source. So I'm going to select the black line now and then I can continue to select more if they were uh, joined there but I'm going to right click to complete. And now we have one single red line. Now joining lines with the join command is relatively easy as you've just seen but it only works when the lines are collinear in other words they're in the same line. You can't for example join two line segments which are at different angles to one another even if they're touching point to point. To do that we're going to use the edit polyline command which we'll see in a few minutes time. Okay so the next thing we're going to do is to join two polylines and you can see here that we've got a red polyline and a black polyline and uh, currently they just join end to end at this uh, vertex here um, and I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the lines. Click on join, select the source object and select the second object and right click to complete. Once again we get a single polyline which inherits the properties of the source object. Now surprisingly we can do the same thing with two arcs and here we have two arcs which form two halves of a circle and if I try to use the join command this time I'm going to once again select the red arc as our source object and then I'm going to select the black arc as the second object. When I right click now I must a question. Combined arc segments form a circle. Do I want to convert it to a circle? Well I can say yes or no and there wouldn't be much use so I'm just going to hit enter to uh, accept the default yes and what we have now is a, a single circle uh, which inherits the properties of the original object. Okay, now here's the situation I was talking about earlier where we have two lines joined end to end but not collinear. If we try to join them using the join command, if I select the source object and then the second object and right click, AutoCAD wants nothing to do with it. This seems a little bit perverse since we can join two arcs together to make a circle. Why can't we join two lines together to make a polyline? But there is a way around it and the way around it is to use a different command, the edit polyline command. Now this is again a little bit perverse because we're going to use the edit polyline command to join two lines this is what happens. We select Edit Polyline from the menu and then we select our source object. Now this can be a line or a polyline or an arc in fact. When I select the line AutoCAD says to me this isn't a polyline, it's a line. Do you want to turn it into a polyline? So I say yes and I can do that just by hitting enter to accept the default. 
I'm then presented with a list of options here, one of which is Join, as you can see. So I'm going to select Join from there, and now select the second object, and right-click. And you can see that the two uh, line segments are now joined to form uh, a single uh, object. Uh, I'm done now, so I can hit Enter to complete that command. And you can see that we've turned two separate lines into a single um, polyline. Now we can use the same command, edit uh, polyline, to join arcs and lines and other polylines as well if we wanted to. The one proviso here is that they all must touch end to end. There can't be any gaps between the objects. So to make a single polyline out of this shape here, which is currently composed of a single arc and, two, and, and three lines, I go to uh, Edit Polyline, select any one of the objects to start with. I'll start with this baseline here. And it asks me again, do I want to turn it into a polyline? So Enter for Yes. And then J for Join. And select the objects. And I'm just going around in an anti-clockwise in a clockwise direction rather, like that. When I've selected all the objects, this one has already been selected as the as the source object, I can right click and once again you can see I can just hit enter to complete. Once again you can see that the shapes, the sorry, the lines and the arc that were uh, defining the outline earlier have now been joined into a single closed polyline.